Hi! Are you ready for another fantastic, fun, creative, super joyful 21 draw drawing lesson? Yeah, I am. So let's get right into it. We're going to be drawing a terrific toucan today, a contour toucan. What we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on, take a look at this, we're going to concentrate on the contour. See the beak? The curving lines that will give the toucan that shape and volume. That's called contour. It's one of those 12 Renaissance words of drawing. I keep mentioning that. I'll talk about that with every one of these 21 draw drawing lessons. We're going to be using overlapping here on the eyes. The near eye is going to be larger. I'm going to use tapering. See it's thick here and it gets thinner as I move. Here's contour lines again on the toes. And here's uh, that uh, uh, going back to that lesson of the flags and the scrolls from our first season, season one. So for this drawing, I do this probably half the time, not all the time, but probably half the time. I take a, a spacer, how big I want the drawing in my, uh, especially when I'm doing my drawings on camera for you. Um, I like to position it so it's either in the center or higher up. And on this one, I, I, I drew this and I position this a little higher than center. It's just about a quarter of an eight and a half by 11. And I, and I just lightly, again, with whis shh, with whisper lines, I just kind of uh, mark that in so you can, you, uh, so I can see where I'm going to start here. So I'm going to put my reference uh, toucan up here. I like to have a reference to see. And about halfway, not about a third of the way, I'm going to start with the branch and then I'll block in. So I'm going to very lightly, I'll, I'll have it slanting up and then I'll come across here and then I'll slant it up. I'm going to make the branch have three bends makes it more interesting. I, this makes me um, think of, remind me of when I draw uh, bugs, uh, you know, ants, insects, their antenna have, they have three, one, two, three, three, like your finger, your finger has one, two, three, three angles. So this branch will have three. Now, from right here, tapering from large to small, I'm going to taper right here, gets in, again, whisper lines, light, shh, whisper, light lines, and then I'll just get smaller and smaller. You see that? It's just going to be a tree branch. You see, we're just going to draw this cool tree branch coming across here. And then I'm going to start blocking it in my toucan. So I'm going to have the toucan, the, the body, the face here, the head's going to come up a little bit above the, my spacer bar. And I'm going to draw, I'm just shaping it in here. It's going to be really cool. And I'm going to have the tail, the toucan's feathers, the tail swoop down. Then I'm going to have it curl up. That's going to be really cool. See, I'm just drawing really, really light. All right. And you can, at this point, you can even take your eraser. I know, you know, where that line's going to go. I pretty much know where, where I'm positioning it now. I, I'm, I like that. I like where we're going with this one. So it's pretty, it's pretty well positioned. Okay. Now, uh, we're just scribbling, sketching it. I know I'm going to put the little toes here. So I'm going to curl the three little toes here and I'll curl the three little toes here, that's contour, right? And I'm still drawing rather light. See, whisper, whisper, because we're gonna end up drawing really dark lines here in just a second. So then now comes the big toucan nose. Isn't this fun? Look how big this is, exaggerated, right? The, the exaggeration is a fun part. So I'll draw that toucan beak. This is, curved. remember this is like that Fruit Loops character, right? Curve that around there and coming across. Now I'm just going to slowly get darker. I'm going to erase the lines when I'm overlapping because I know that those will disappear. I'm still drawing light, right? Sketch, 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 whisper, whisper lines. Then I, you can exaggerate these. I'm going to put like really big eyes, really big genius eyes here. And then this other eye, that's overlapping. Remember, there's 12 Renaissance words overlapping. You put one object in front of another object. You have to, your hands, a simple explanation, visual explanation. Your, if you put one in front of the other, right, it looks closer. Near things are overlapped in front of each other. This eye is in front of that eye. That's just one of the really powerful Renaissance words along with contour. So now, now I'm going to start pushing hard with my wonderful nine millimeter HB lead pencil. I love my thick dark line. Almost looks like I'm inking it, doesn't it? This is a curved line. Tech, really, this is not curved enough for me, but uh, eh, I push so hard, I'm, it's going to be tough to erase it, so I'm going to live with it. It's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, 
Give yourself permission to make mistakes. Give yourself a license to flop. Give yourself a permission to explore possibilities, creative possibilities, all right? Possibly, just like when we drew the illuminating light bulb, right? The idea is just, just, just sparking, right? So let's take this and I'm gonna curve this around here. See, I, that's all right, I didn't make, I, I missed it, it's fine, it's, I love it, it's looking good. Now I'm gonna go back to drawing whisper lines and I'm gonna draw that near wing. See, it's gonna come down here. Now this is interesting. I'm gonna, for the wings, I'm gonna turn the feathers into fingers. And this is inspired by my love of the, uh, the animators for Wallace and Gromit. I'm gonna put this back wing, look, it's smaller. This is larger and this is smaller back here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these wings into uh, feathers and the feathers are going to become fingers. And now that was inspired by the movie Chicken Little. And that was uh, uh, animated, created by Ardman Productions. I believe it's Ardman. Nick Park, he also created my favorite series, British series, called uh, Wallace and Gromit. I don't know if you've ever seen that. They're wonderful, claymation. And they, they're uh, Nick Park and their fellow animators are the ones that took the feathers and made them into fingers. Just a lot like Disney did um, in the movie Dumbo with the crow, the crows talking with the feathers that were fingers. I just love that. So all the way back in the 40s and 50s to the 1980s, Wallace and Gromit and Chicken Little were, were just getting inspired by all these art, these artists and these movies that we've seen and enjoyed. So this wing's gonna be in front. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw feathers, but I'm gonna make the thumb, the thumb right here, and then I'm gonna put this the fingers, right? There's thumb and I'll put some fingers as they move back and then they become feathers, right? So I'll go ahead and I'll draw the thumb here and I'll draw the feathers coming across here. And then I'll clean this up here. And you don't have to be exact. See how I'm just going to throw, throw those feathers back here? And then coming over on the other side, I'm going to put some feathers, put some texture across the, the front. Now, once again, I'm going to put the thumb out here in front, and then I'll put these fingers. You see, and there's feathers coming back. Isn't that fun? Do you love it? Now, I don't like that. that it should be pushed back just a bit back here. So I'm gonna angle that coming out just a bit. I think that looks better. Give yourself, remember, give yourself permission to make mistakes. Give yourself license to flop. All right, my handy dandy brush tool. I love it, I love this. Now once we get, get the shading in there, it's gonna look really, really cool. All right, so I'm cleaning this up just a bit. Now, for the tail, as it curves around, this is for shortening. So it gets it's larger in front. Remember that word, what, the Renaissance word. Here's overlapping. See, it's all tapering. I call this direction northeast. We use those four positions that most often, not all artists use these positions all the time. I call them the drawing direction. And if you use these four drawing directions, northeast, northwest, southeast, southeast, southwest, you'll be able to draw anything, anything in 3D. Curve that line right here. In fact, I have a really cool chart. The drawing direction compass, see here, this is, this is a regular compass, that's a normal compass right there. This is a compass that's flopped over, that's foreshortened, that's squished. And then here's the drawing compass reference. These are the four directions that artists use most of the time to position their drawings and make them 3D. If you can notice the southeast and northeast, southwest, I'm making the wing come or the beak come down here in direction uh, southeast, and then the the tail feathers are angled up in direction northeast. Right? It's just and so these four are the most common used drawing directions. Not all the time, but the most common. I'm going to put some feathers overlapping here. Now you're going to have so much fun when you shade this. Look, I'm just adding the detail. Now remember, if I go too fast on this video lesson, 21 draw video lesson, you can push pause, right? You can rewind it, push pause. It's just wonderful, this technology, the streaming technology. Any lesson, any level, any time. I love that idea. Any lesson, any level, any time. And just keep that joy of creating, the joy of drawing, the joy of creativity going with pencil power, pencil power.